officially legally married. Oh, look at us. What are you thinking, Jess? Do we do it? Do we have a honeymoon? Welcome to Dubai, everybody. Almost there. One more flight. Thank you. Alrighty, see you Dubai. Next stop, Europe. Good morning from a very jet-lagged Stephen and Jess. Yeah! First, before we tell you where we are, I think we need round two of coffee. You know, it is our honeymoon, so uh, technically we should be having something a little bit more fun. Give me one moment. Cheers, Bobs. Cheers. We've been out for a couple of hours, guys. Yeah. We're a little bit jet lagged, but do we tell them where we are now? I think so. Let's do it. We are currently in Vienna, in Austria, and we are going on a little Europe trip for our honeymoon. <laughs> We're awesome. calling it our honeymoon. <laughs> I know. It just happened to be that this trip fell the day after the wedding. So it's our second so, uh, honeymoon. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> also. Last night when we came in, we had well, we had the champagne, but we were like, we just crashed and went straight to bed. But we also had little macaroons and brownies and these little coconut balls. I know I you've like, tried um, the coconut ball already. So. I tried one, it was great. <laughs> it tastes like a lint ball. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I guess this is our... Champagne breakfast. Yeah. First day of the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers through time. So before we get dressed, I thought I'd show you where we're staying. So we're staying at The Ring, which is a hotel right in the heart of Vienna. This is our gigantic, lovely bed mm -hmm. that was amazing after 24 hours of flying we have a lot of windows but i think it's like just a courtyard outside so we don't really get to see the street yet we haven't seen anything yet we arrived at night we've got like a tv in the middle of the room and then a couch and then a desk with some little valentine's flowers cute and then over here we have a coffee station which is always needed and then down here we've got our toilet in here and then our bathrooms in here with a double vanity a bath which we're going to use tonight and the shower it's good right this is so good. I wasn't expecting there to be this like juicy stuff in the middle. You. It's like a lint ball. All right, before we go out, we got package. When have we ever we got, got mail at a hotel before? I think I know what it is. It's the main reason we're here in Europe. Oh, this is so exciting! Our very first Europe trip two years ago. Sorry, yeah. and we still have and we plenty have some of extra spots. Days. Yeah, we definitely have extra days to use, so may as well use the passes. Yeah, these are so, so handy. We wanted an easy way to see a lot of countries and we found out about Eurail or for Europeans it's called Interrail where you just buy a train pass and then you can hop on and off trains as you wish throughout a certain period of time. So we've come back to Europe and we want to see a few more countries. So we've picked up a pass so we can go see a few more spots. So Austria isn't the only place we're going to, but... I'm excited. Do you remember it? Yeah, man. Exciting. Oh wait, it says where we're going on there. Oh, spoilers. no sneaky look. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel has an old school elevator. Oh, I love Europe. Everything's so old. Ready? First time stepping into Vienna. Woo! Oh, oh that gosh, winter so chill. It's nice. Wow. wow. Oh yeah, so once we go and catch our first train, which is in a couple of days time, we'll explain the Eurail Pass more to you guys because last time we did it in Europe, you had a lot of questions and we'll give you the full breakdown. I honestly think it's like the best way to travel Europe because it's super easy. You don't have to go to the airports every time. You just jump on a train and just go to the next country. Are we going to go get some breakfast? Yes, I have it on the map. You have it on the map. We're definitely going to have to try some Affelstrul sometime here in Austria. Wow, just came across oh an gosh, insane lolly macaroons. shop. Oh wow, what's that? Asparagus it looks like. It is Nougat Asparagel. What? Weird. <laughs> what? Or do you reckon there's an asparagus in there? Oh, this Ew, is not no. good. We're in Europe, where all the pastries and the chocolates taste better here than anywhere else. Guys, I think we have found the cutest cafe, Cafe Diglis, and it's pink. Also, someone's just casually parked their bike here, but it just makes it look so European, and I just want to take so many photos. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Do you know what good morning in German is? I just forgot. Um, <laughs> is, it, is it good in time? 
so you can't just a little booth. This is so cute. This is so cute. Just look at this place. Steve, everything's in German. Did you bring your translation up? <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't think I got German. <laughs> This is nice. I think we've gone we're for. We're gonna eat way too much bread, aren't we? And yeah, this is what happens when we're in Europe. The, Here we go. The diet is gone. So we've picked a very cute spot. Got the window just outside there. This is a nice start to the morning. I'm kind of jealous of these cultures in Europe where they live off bread. Like that was a very traditional <laughs> Austrian breakfast, but I have one piece of bread and I'm just bloated for the day. You guys like live off it. I don't know. I don't now know. I want a croissant. <laughs> We just decided to walk around some of the streets to find cute buildings. Every time we turn around a corner, were you finding all these amazing buildings? Like, what is this? This is down the road from that cafe. I'm like, we've got a list of places to go to, but this wasn't on it. It looks like a giant cathedral. Wow. Also, what's this? Alrighty, we found out this is St. Stephen's Cathedral. Wow, what an amazing like site just to randomly come across. Domkirche? No. <laughs> Domkirch, St. Stephen? You just offended cathedral? all of our German <laughs> viewers. <laughs> Jess, I thought we were meant to be looking at nice buildings. Yeah, this looks like a really nice one. Actually, to be honest, it does. Like, isn't this the nicest H&M store? <laughs> oh no! It's not open! Are we too early? It's 10 o'clock. Guys, we come to our first proper stop of the day. We come to St. Peter's Catholic Cathedral. It's right next to H&M. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it's so beautiful how it's between these two buildings yeah. just here. I think we can go check it out inside. Okay. Have a look. Make sure you leave your ice cream. So beautiful inside that church. The like massive painting on the roof was incredible. It's also free and it said at 3 p.m. you can go and get a free organ concert. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just come out to a collection of museums. There's a few of them all the way down here, and they're really beautiful. Actually, looking for the National Museum. Uh, oh, the National Library. The Library. Sorry. I've never been to a library. Like I never thought of going. And I saw a photo, and I was like, that looks like the Beauty and Beast Library. I don't know if this person loves Pinocchio. Pinocchio is from here, but there's a little Pinocchio shop. Look, that one looks like the movie one, and this may be more of like an original one. How cool are all the clocks? Oh yeah, it's all handmade wooden clocks. Oh, so you can just get puppets. That's so cool. Oh wow, that looks... I love that. <laughs> Guys, I'm not exactly sure where we're walking. I don't know, I keep finding these cool buildings. Like, what's this? I know, right? It's like a massive... Like, Hang I'm... on, I found a little... Oh yeah, this is what we're looking at oh, at the I moment. See. so 11. Yeah, we're trying to find 11. Um, oh, that is. Yeah. That is the... That's the library. No way. Yeah. That is fancy. This is giving, actually, that's very similar. This is giving me some vibes of when we stayed in that hotel in Germany. Munich? Munich yeah. yeah, this park, because we were there like in winter, so all the trees didn't have anything on there. It's not that cold, guys. It's like it's, end of February right now. It's probably, what, zero degrees, you reckon? Oh, no. I okay, it's like two. You reckon it's gone up to two? It's actually a nice time to go around. This doesn't look anything like our Perth library. It wraps around. <laughs> Accidentally saw two very important people. Don't know who it was, but any it was... Austrians out there? Was that your prime minister? I think it could have been. It was really cool to see the army all dressed up in their traditional wear. Oh wow! Hello. <laughs> Guys, after our big adventure, running into the prime minister of Austria, 
Um, the library doesn't open on Mondays. The library doesn't open on Mondays. Come tomorrow. <laughs> it was the president. It was. What? The president has stayed here too. So you've just noticed that the crossing is two people holding hands with a little love heart. Cute. Very cute. We're a little bit hungry. We realize it's like now 1, 1 1.30 and we need some food and we've come out to the Nush Market. It's in the middle Ooh. of this like street. There's like a bunch of restaurants. What do we get? I don't know. We need to suss out our options. We do. There's so many restaurants here. Oh, burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Bobs, we can't get a burrito, but that is a good idea. Alrighty, I think I need a beanie. We came here for food, not clothes. Oh man, do we go for the fresh seafood? Barrel of pickles. Guys, is this the Austrian version of our goon bags back home? Alright, we come out to Tiwas because we wanted like something semi-healthy. That is, yeah, it's not them. really local to Austria, but it's like no, food. But we have plans to try Austrian stuff later. Nice beanie, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> Jess, you're doing pretty good. Falafel with like, hummus. <laughs> I like some, how my first proper meal is a Greek meal. Some bro um, brochen. <laughs> but you can't talk because your first proper meal is a burger. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Today doesn't count. Today was meant to be a chill day. Alrighty guys, we've picked up these 72 hour like city cards and gives us access to the underground. So it's 24.90 and gives us unlimited access on trams, buses and the underground. That what? Yeah. Stamp. Alright guys, just jumped off the train and we come down to a really beautiful building. Weiner, 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 Astrum. <laughs> Astrum, oh so bad, I don't even know why I try. But look how beautiful this building is. But the reason we've come here is Christmas ice is skate. still on. Look! And you ice skate in front of these beautiful buildings. We I have to go have get it some every shoes. every winter and luckily they still have it. It hasn't finished yet. I think we like arrived just in time. Oh, oh wow, gosh, these smell so, so good. good. I think they put a little pop-up shop. Does this kind of count as going to the German Christmas markets? <laughs> oh, it smells so good in here. Seriously, they have so much amazing food here, but I am so full. This has got to be the <laughs> coolest place that we've ice skated. Just look at that view behind us. How are you going there, Bobs? Usually, I'm a real pro. Usually a bit of struggle town when this happens. Guys, we seriously are noobs when it comes to ice skating. Everyone's like pros, Winter Olympics inspired like champions right now. And I need like one of those little <laughs> penguins. Where's the penguins, Bobs? Do you think you're too old for the penguins? It's really cool. So this is a park and rather than just having an ice skating rink, they actually have like a path and you just like ice skate through the park, which is really cool. Ice skating was super fun and I hope you enjoyed our first day here in Vienna. I think we're going to daily vlog our time in Europe. Jet lag is real. Jet lag is real. Oh gosh, it's only five o'clock and I'm like, Steve, bed. 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 Because it's like, what, four in the morning in Perth, I think. Uh. Uh. Anyway, if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe because we have a lot of fun stuff coming your way because on the next episode, it is currently snowing. We have a new favorite place. First thing that you guys recommended we go see, it's so weird, if we came here yesterday, Today, it would literally have been green grass and blue skies. Jess can finally get her Beauty and the Beast library moment.